Hi, I watched a video today of Scott Adams' podcast, and he was talking about why he got divorced and why he got married. I'm going to explain the reality of what this poor man doesn't understand. He's a trained hypnotist, which makes him think he's a psychologist, and he's an economist and an MBA. So he knows everything about marriage. And I'm here to tell you that <laughs> he doesn't know shit. What made you think your marriage would last? I didn't think that. I've never thought a marriage would last. I don't think your marriage will last either. I, I just bet against it based on uh, statistics. Yeah, I think the, the worst assumption you can make is that marriages usually fail, but yours won't. I never made that. I made the assumption that marriages usually fail, so mine probably will. <laughs> so I wasn't surprised. <laughs> Why get married? Because you want to get married. The first thing that got me upset was he said he didn't expect his marriage to last. Nobody goes into a wedding like that. Get real. He wasn't surprised when it ended. Every fucking spouse is surprised. It always comes out of nowhere. You want a divorce? She was worth $4 million, He was worth seventy-five. <laughs> Why would he want to get married? He can get more of those girls all the time. He was just on this morning saying he was uh, in Bora Bora with a model. There, there are benefits of marriage, especially if, if kids are involved. If kids are involved, it just makes things easier. It's sort of awkward to have a long-term relationship and not be married. After, after a certain age, it's just it, it's a problem. It just, it's just easier to be married after a certain number of years you've been together. Now, we were together for five years, and it worked great. It's important if you're going to have children. He's not going to have children. She already had two kids. So let's just dismiss that horseshit about the benefits of marriage. They lived together three-plus years, and then they got married. See what happened? One year and nine months later, they got divorced. <laughs> he said it worked really great for five years. What he meant was it worked really great till he got married. I mean, something major changed at one point, but I don't know exactly what it was. Because people change? I don't know. Maybe. Scott says something changed, and somebody in his audience People change, question mark, and that's right. People change. Times change and people change. Every day is a different day. Every day you're a different person. When you live with somebody, you rub each other the wrong way. That's just the way it goes. Here, here's what I think. I think that um, all original attraction is irrational. It isn't irrational. It's highly emotional. You're in love, deeply in love. Intense. It doesn't get any more intense than that. It's not irrational. It's blind. You're so over the, over your head with joy and love, you get married. That comes from the fairy tales. It doesn't come from anywhere else. It's not natural. It doesn't occur in natural environments like uh, hunter gatherers. There's no such thing as invoking that as horseshit. Irrational. And so if there's no utility after the magic wears off, because it always wears off, then you get divorced. And by utility, I mean, does one of you provide, um, let's say, resources? In evolutionary psychology, women want a man who can provide resources. (laughs) He was worth 75 million, she was worth 4 million. The utility was for her. Oh, the other thing I know is that he was talking about paying for her to go to jet pilot school. Uh, airline pilots is a, not very good for a marriage. He didn't say why he said that. He just said that. Do you protect each other? That you have a steady source of companionship and sex, which is what marriage is about. He doesn't know that. If you're not doing those things, then, of course, the marriage falls apart. But marriage is just utility after, after the initial period. It's just utility. And if, you're not, if both of you are not feeling the other feel safe, then there's no point to it. If your spouse doesn't make you feel safer, if they make you feel less safe, there's no point to it at all. So that's, that's pretty much the, the, the reason to get divorced is that you don't feel safe. The reason to get married is that you think you're in love and you'll feel safer. I don't know why this safe keeps coming up. There must be an issue in his psychology. Safe from what? Nobody's going to kill you. Nobody's going to take over your property. I think what he really means 
do you feel secure she's not fucking someone and does she feel secure you're not fucking someone it's the only thing i can imagine he means there safe oh silly you're not protecting each other from anything except being lonely you mean like she got a job as an airline pilot and you felt less safe i would say so she's flying all over the country with two men in the cockpit and anybody she wants in the cabin safe i wouldn't think she was coming home that's what i would think here we are again with a safe issue. I really don't know what the fuck's going on with him. Maybe he's been hurt before, but when you're a mega millionaire, like he is, you can go anywhere with anybody, anytime. You don't need someone living in your house with you. How long did you get no sex before you decided it was over? Uh, not at all. Uh, even the separation was a good time. <laughs> it, it wasn't about physical compatibility. That, that actually never changed. Let me put it this way. I've never heard of anybody getting divorced when they were still getting along in bed. When you're getting divorced, your dick goes limp and she dries up. Now, that's silly for him to say that. I don't know who he thinks he's pulling shit on, but it certainly isn't me. So let's stop with the bullshit. End of John White's comments on Scott Adams and marriage. 